Okay, official start. Good evening. Today is second day of November 2015. Time now, 6.03 p.m. Eastern. This is the pre-launch to the one trade-a-day service. I know that some of you have signed up for a couple markets. Some have signed up for three or four. Some signed up for the entire eight markets. Tonight, I want to, as we, you know, come down to the final few hours here, I want to answer any questions that you have uh, in regards to anything at all. Okay, I'm going to tell you where I'm still. Uh, I mean, we've got your information that you've registered, signed up. I mean, all that's handled. What I haven't completely worked out is how I'm going to uh, do delivery. Okay. Hang on. Can you go to the Google Plus page? Michael was going to join me in a meeting here, but I don't know if he's going to be able to or not. Hang on one second. Okay, Michael, are you in here with me? Um, let's see. Now, there's two methods, obviously, that we can use. One is I can email them to you. But for those of you that have been utilizing the free trades, I think the response that I have uh, received from everyone is they really like that model because – they know ahead of time when it's going to happen, when it's going to be there. And instead of waiting by your inbox for something to show up, which is uh, what's happened with the concierge trades for a long time, I personally like the idea much better. Now, in thinking it through, because we mixed and matched, we if I had it to do over again, in my mind, I had inserted flap A into slot B, but then as I actually began to uh, put in the infrastructure, I realized that it was going to be a little more difficult. See, with the free trade, uh, it's very simple because everybody's getting the exact same free trade. And when I move the concierge trade alerts to a password-protected page, it, the same thing will apply there, okay? Everybody will register, log in, and have access to that page. But the nature of the one trade a day, you know, had I left it at just one, that would have been simple as well, but I didn't. I wanted to give you guys the ability to choose the markets that really speak to you you know, and, and not have to be involved in the ones that that don't appeal to you and that you're not trading. So I'm still working on the delivery right now. Uh, for tomorrow morning, I will make sure that you all have an email uh, later tonight, first thing tomorrow. I know that many of you are still in the process of getting your paperwork printed out, signed, getting it back to us. I've had a couple messages that people have, you know, had some issues with that, and that's okay. If you were tuned in at the end of the radio show today, we, we talked about this whole thing 
in some detail, okay? No matter when you signed up or when you sent in your payment, the clock does not start running for you until you start getting your trades. So don't want you to worry that you're going to lose out on any days or any money in any kind of way uh, because with us, as you know, we'll, you'll end up, if anything, you'll get extra days, not less days. This is a month to month relationship. Okay, just like renting an apartment. Okay, when you rent an apartment, you either rent month to month or you lease the apartment or house on an annual basis. Now, this month to month tenancy, if for some reason, uh, come the end of the month, you decide that you don't want to continue with your subscription. You simply need to give us a heads up. If possible, give us a heads up five days before you're going to get billed again for the following month. Okay? And we'll get you canceled. No problem. Worst possible thing that could happen, happen is that Either we drop the ball or PayPal drops the ball and you happen to notice that you got billed after you emailed us a notice to cancel and we just send that money that you paid back for the month you didn't want. We just send that back to you. So, so you don't ever have to worry about that. Just now you will get billed on the, you know, it's a monthly recurring subscription just like your month to month rent on your apartment. You will get billed unless you cancel, okay? Make sure you understand that, all right? And so do your very best. Send us an email. doesn't have to be by <laughs> – I read some of these things. It's some people, it's registered letter and blah, 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 and 10-point type, and oh, dear Lord, just send us an email that says, hey, guys, I want to cancel my one trade a day service, and uh, we'll just go in and cancel it out for you, okay? But when you, you're buying it a month at a time. Okay, so you're in for a month. If you decide you don't want to go on for the second month, you just let us know. All right, back to the main issue, and that is the content delivery. I thought I had a method worked out where you'd be able to log in to our current website, and let's say you had chosen the S&P and the Dow, okay? Once you registered, you would go to the S&P page. It would be something as simple as CFRN.net slash ES. It's password protected. Only those who are logged in would be able to get there. You would, you know, copy down that trade, and then you would go to CFRN.net slash DAO, get that information, then you're done, okay? That happens at 1030 a.m. Eastern. Every day, Monday through Friday, like clockwork. So by 10.35 a.m. Eastern, you've written down your trades or printed them out, however you want to do, and you're ready to go for the day. So you guys have done your part. You've placed your orders. You've – most of you or a lot of you have gotten your paperwork back. Those of you who haven't gotten it back to us, you need to do that, okay? It's really important. And – I've just got to finish working out the content delivery side of it because I have to protect you, I have to protect us, we're community, we're family, and so it's about protecting us all together. Michael, is that you I hear back there? That is me. Oh, okay. Now, anybody that missed the discussion right at the end of the radio show today – I'm going to upload the radio show. Uh, actually, it's already on the YouTube channel. I just have to go in and uh, snip and clip, but it's there, and you can fast forward right to the end and hear everything that I had to say uh, in regards to it. But basically, it's everything that I just said here. But if you want to hear it again, you can. I was I just, able. I just sent the the email out to everybody that should get it okay um, so they're starting to pop in right now okay John uh, what are the eight markets to choose from I will put that I'll tell you right now I will also 
put it on the page tonight on the one trade a day. That page right there, cfrn.net slash one trade a day, that's going to be, be like the hubbub, like the hub for any dissemination of information, etc. Oh, something else just crossed my mind. Anyway, um, the markets will be, for anybody that wants to jot them down, the S&P, soybeans, bonds, crude oil, the euro, the Dow, the Russell, and gold. But that should be eight. S&P, soybeans, bonds, crude, euro, Dow, Russell, and gold. Okay. Where will we find the paperwork that needs to be completed and returned? Is there a link? Yes. You simply go to the uh, one trade a day page. Let me show you right here. So make it real simple. CFRN.net, one trade a day. Okay. And then you scroll down. And right here the NDA and cancellation policy. I did it two different ways because I know we've had some issues in the past with downloading documents, but I know a lot of people have downloaded theirs, so they seem to be working pretty good. You can, if you have Microsoft Word, or if you don't, everybody has a PDF program on their computer. Okay? So you should be able to might be able to left click it. Yeah, there it is. And then you just have to go to your uh, your browser over here and hit uh, print. Okay. So I try to make it as simple as possible. And hopefully it works that easily uh, for you. Next. So the page again is... CFRN and you should probably just bookmark it CFRN that one trade a day there you go it's really and this watch this and if you have a smartphone now if you're going to be at your desk placing your trades then you don't need to worry about this this is really for those individuals who wanted to have their trades traded by a broker because you've got a day job or whatever the case might be. This is very user-friendly. Michael does a great job of showing you how to use it in this video. You just download it and you use your current user ID and password and it just works. I'm telling you, it, it really is. It really is a great little app. Now, here's the deal on those of you that bother to read this top part. Unfortunately, our one trade a day service hit a snag, as most of you already know. Worry not, we're on top of the situation and we'll resolve the issue in due time. There was a concerned voice that we might be operating in the role of a CTA, such is not the case. The rules that define who is and isn't required to register as a CTA are still as crystal clear today as the day they were written. Michael and I really enjoy what we do, and we built this business exactly the way we want to do it. We don't want to handle your money. We don't want to give individualized investment advice based on your personal financial situation. That's for brokers. That's for CTAs. 
We simply want to do the three things that we do best, teach ordinary people just like us how to trade. All subscribers re receive the same trading, same trading, training, create a level playing field across all socioeconomic sectors by providing our concierge trade alerts to all who request them. The same data is distributed without regard to an individual's personal economic situation. All subscribers receive the exact same information. Bring clarity to intraday trading by offering one trade a day, up to eight markets published after the London and Wall Street opens respectively, as well as post-release of any 10 a.m. EDT daily economic data releases. The advantage provided by observation of the market's reaction to any and all economic releases up until 10.30 a.m. Eastern provides us with additional info to apply to our opinion-based business model. For the more information that we have, or the more information that we have, can provide time-sensitive opportunities which are then applied to the eight markets we cover. This is trade-specific information released to all of our one trade-a-day subscribers without respect, again, to any socioeconomic factors or individual economic situations. The words of the NFA, see, this is, this is what clears the air, is their own words. You make recommendations, such as advice to buy or sell specific futures contracts should a particular price level be reached through newsletters, books, and periodicals. The advice includes specific recommendations, and the recipients of publications all receive the same advice. Okay, so that's just crystal clear. Now, you will get stopped out. Okay, We're not suddenly prophetic prophets who can hand you trades that never get stopped out. Okay. What we can do is we can work with you to help you improve your trading. And this simply gives you a leg up each day. Now, whoever your current broker is, check with your current broker. Okay, Ask them if they can trade these signals and if they can trade them for you. And you're going to find out that most brokers can and will gladly do so. We will send the signal to them on your behalf, okay? But we're not recommending any one specific broker. We simply offer the information, the facts, just the facts, and then either you trade it or your broker, whoever that might be, will trade it for you but you have to speak with your broker one-on-one, -on -one, make that arrangement, and then if we have given you login information, all right, now if you're going to transfer it to the broker, we need to know about that because the broker needs to sign an NDA as well, okay, because he's got a bunch of other clients, and it's not fair to any member of this community if you pay once to get the information and then your broker trades it for, you know, all of his other clients. I mean, we treat everybody with dignity and respect and above and beyond everything else fairly, okay? And so that's how we, we want to be treated in return. I think that's fair. I realize that no one said life would be fair, but that seems fair to me. So, with that said, what questions, Michael, do we have that still need to be answered? Um, let's see. I think you covered most of them. Greg said, Greg Michael received it. You catch me later. John says his question, is there any data showing some actual trades that have been made using the one trade a day? Yeah, John. All the free trades that were given out are using the same formula as the one trade a day. Okay, uh, what are the eight markets to choose from? That's been done already. Well, you'll find the paperwork. Dwayne just went over that. Um, yeah, all the questions are answered, I think. Daryl said, is there a fax number? 
there is, you can send it to 828. Here, I'll you know what, Michael, I'll, I'll type it in as you say it. Okay. 828-256-4346. Okay, I've got 828-256-4346. Yes. Okay, facts. Number. Uh, and I'm going to hit send to all. Okay. And, Michael, I don't know if you have your... My what? Uh, do you have your phone handy there? I do. Phone handy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna send you a little message here. Okay. Uh, Capish. Oh, well, we'll talk about it later. I mean, that's a, that's a good thing. It is, but which which can is that? <clears throat> can P? I, I sent you a text message. Yeah. We are focused. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. We'll see how it goes. Good, Vic. I'm glad you're in. Victor is. Uh, the other one's not, though. No. And you're talking about Ken Packard, right? Yeah. Yeah, he is not. He wasn't invited. <laughs> okay, I got it. That's good. That's good. Happened to show up in some form or fashion. He's certainly welcome. It's all good. Certainly welcome. Um, okay. Yes. Yes. Um, but I don't think we sent an invite out to him though. And, and how would I change those two if I so decide? How do I notify you of the two markets that I wish to trade? Okay, here's what you're gonna do. Everybody, uh, let me no, let me put it in the chat box. Yeah. Okay. To start out with, guys, this this probably isn't gonna be perfect by the end of the night. Okay, tomorrow. Um, what we need to get from all of you is what markets you want to trade. Okay. Because right now we don't have any of that stuff. You send and them. You send the markets that you want traded. Okay, you know how many you paid for. When we put this all into the accounting software, it will match up. If you paid for two markets and you sent me three, uh, it'll the accounting will, will, will kick it out and go. So, you see, guys, see that OTAD one trade a day at CFRN.net. I'm going to create a filter so that. Tonight, as you guys send me in the two, three, four, five, six markets, whatever it is that you're going to trade, okay, it will just, they'll all go into that folder. So I'll have everything in one place. So that's your next order of business. Your next order of business is to tell us which markets you've already paid. Now you tell us which markets you want the information on, and then tonight I will continue to work on the pipeline delivery system, and I would like to think I'm going to have it up and running tomorrow morning. Um, outside, it'll be Wednesday. Okay, today's Monday, Tuesday. It'll, outside, it'll be Wednesday, but keep in mind, that your clock does not start ticking until the first time we send you out your alerts, okay? 
I'm anxious to get rolling, so I, I want it to be tomorrow. But if it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. Okay. Anybody have any questions on that? Um, the fax number, I think you typed it in. Well, for us, it's way at the top. For them, it may be down at the bottom. I don't know. I will put the fax number in again for you guys. Here, I'll, you can just do a paste recent answer. Eight, two, go. eight. I got it. I All right. It. <laughs> Okay. Uh, there. It puts it right back up at the top, doesn't it? Uh, it depends how they have it sorted. So maybe we have it at the top and the bottom now. Okay. okay. All right. What is your opinion of the best choices, Michael and Dwayne? Uh you know, I, I almost hesitate to uh, – I realize it's only opinion, yes. Well, here's the thing. We've had some incredible $1,000 per contract days with bonds and the concierge trade alerts. We've had some incredible, you know, crude days, uh, days that have – that we've had fewer – Incredible days with the euro than probably any other market. The YM uh, is a producer. Here's the thing about the YM, though. Okay, you're risking eight points to make twenty. Now, now that's good. Okay, I mean that risk to reward ratio is very good, but. Catching a stretch of the Dow where it will run 20 points of late hasn't been so hard because we've had some pretty good volatility. Uh, the S&P has been trading well. Uh, I think I would probably – I would be hard-pressed myself not to put the Russell in the mix. I don't know. Again. Uh, I remember, we used to get our butts handed to us by that time. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Long time ago, guys. Here's here's what you need is you need volatility, okay? But too much volatility is going to stop you out, and then off it runs, you know, without you. Now, this is why you need to um, make a determination, okay? Once you're stopped down, are you going to use, you know, are you going to use aggressive risk management? Are you going to use the eight tick hard stop? Are you going to use structured placement on the chart? In other words, like I've taught you guys in the past during after shows and partners meetings, using the most recent swing low on the chart, if it's a long trade, to place your stop there. Okay, I think you're best served with the eight tick hard stop. Be prepared to re-enter the trade if need be. You may decide that you're going to go take one trade a day, and if that's the one that works for you, then fine. If not, then you'll take the next trade the next day. And that may apply to the multiple markets. What else is in the box? How many times on average do these trades trigger in a week per market? Well, that depends. Um, if you, Paul, do you ever tune into the radio show? Do you ever get a chance to listen to the daily radio show? Oh, you haven't. Okay. That's too bad because uh, I've been recapping on the radio show the, the concierge trade alerts for, gosh, years now. If you'll go out to the Google Plus page, do you have the address to the Google Plus page? I'm going to put it in the chat box. You do have it. Okay. Let me just put it in the chat box anyway for somebody that maybe doesn't. Okay. Last week, I got a little behind, but the week before that and the week before that, I did a... Not only did I do the 
concierge trade alerts recap during the radio show, I then came back after the fact and did a complete market by market recap. So these trades have a tendency to trigger important prices, important areas are almost always tested. And that bears out, you know, day after day after day. Bonds, uh, today, bonds just dropped 18 ticks. It didn't come back on the S&P. Uh, we triggered at 20... 79 that ran right up through there and we didn't come back on that one today let's see crude all right now here's one see crude triggered and dropped to here then it got back above then it dropped again okay the euro Euro was just a disappointment today. Uh, the Dow. All right, here's 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 the Dow. The Dow triggered and ran 27 points. You need 20 points to be done for the day at five points a day. Uh, the Dow ran 26 points, and then at this point it had ran 36. Okay. The Russell triggered and went. The Russell was the champion of the day. It triggered at 1161 and ran all the way to 1185.20. So that was conservatively the market made $2,200 available per contract. Okay. We didn't make that available. We made the alert available. The market made that available. Something else you want to take into consideration too, what size account do you have? Okay. And what margins will your account size handle? The S&P, Dow, Russell, and NASDAQ, those are all $500 per contract. So, I mean, you, you can trade multiple markets or, I mean, you, you could trade the S&P, you know, five, six contracts of the S&P uh, with a $5,000 account intraday. Now, that's another important thing. These are going to come out at 1030 a.m. Eastern, okay? Please be flat end of the day. Unless you have a big account, all right? Unless, the because if you hold an S&P order open from the Monday session to the Tuesday session, it's going to go from 500 in margin to 5,000 in margin. If you close and go flat, and then an hour later when the market reopens at 6 p.m. Eastern, if you initiate that position again, you're right back to the $500 margin. Okay, so be aware of that. If you're not sure how the whole margin thing works, speak with your broker. Or if you're using the DT Pro uh, platform, then go to this guy right here, help, contract margins. It's going to open a window on your browser that will tell you exactly how much the margin is on any and everything you want to trade okay and across the top here you go currencies energies financials grain indices the indices this is where you're going to find uh, the DAX which is just too much 10,000 stay away from that uh, Mike did you see that they've jacked up the NASDAQ I did not see that. 2400 no. bucks. Really? Uh, well, it was really volatile last week. I was, you know, last week was the first time I looked at that thing in the longest time, and that was because S&P somebody had asked me to. is 5, the Dow's 5, the Russell's 5. Now, that's here's ingenious. here's what'll happen. Yeah, that's that's at one broker. It'll be different at different brokers. That'll come down 
it's just you know a week of volatility and and they want to uh, okay all right any any questions Mike let's see I'm gonna be trading a new DAX e-mini uh, not for a while anyway Craig you know even the DAX e-mini probably gonna have pretty high uh, pretty high margins um, John, my questions. He has a lot of questions. All right. Uh, are these one trade a day trades good until the next time another one trade a day is given, usually the next day? Yes. Um, please show how to pull up the non disclosure form. Okay. That was done earlier, Mike, but we'll do that again. Are you going to be trading the new taxi mini? I already answered that one. John, I realize, Michael, what would you choose? If I was going to do one trade a day, it depends how big your account is, um, you know, what kind of risk you can handle. Okay, here's the one trade a day webpage, okay, cofren.net, one trade a day, scroll down, CFRN NDA Word document, NDA PDF. You can simply click it, it'll open. Boom, print, and you're good to go. You can also right-click it, like I said in the instructions. Okay, and uh, yes, Phil D. Okay, okay. So did you get that? One trade a day. Scroll down. It says NDA and cancellation policy. Okay, it tells you how everything works. Certain amount of legalese in there because it's just required. Uh, in the second half, I did my very best to break everything down to as plain of English as I can. Here, are there any other questions, Michael, that we haven't covered? Uh, I don't think so. Hang on. Let me go up and make sure. All right. Let me just ask everybody in here. I didn't answer about what markets I would rather trade. I make more money in crude oil and um, in the Russell than any other markets, John. Does anybody does anybody else have any questions that we have not answered? The questions scroll up out of view, just like during the day, guys. Uh, just copy and paste your question in again, and we're looking for it right now. You know, before we weren't looking at the question box. Right now we are. So okay, I'm gonna scroll up and look for yours, Daryl. Uh, Daryl, are you trading these off the four tick range chart on the one minute? Or the one minute, and do you wait for close of the bar above or below the level, or does the bar just have to penetrate the level? Okay. This is where you have to uh, actually th – this isn't – how do I say this? Um, this is discretionary trading, okay? In other words, when I say – like here on the Russell today, consider being long above 1161. Now, we know the first spot that you can be long above 1161 is 1161.10, okay? 1161.1 is the first spot you can be long the Russell. That was the exact trade alert that I gave out, okay? Now, there's a number of ways that you could trade that. You could get long at 1161 and a quarter. Doesn't matter if you're on a four tick range chart or a one minute chart or an hourly chart if you're not using the indicators. 
if you're just trading price, it doesn't matter what time frame, because see, when you change time frames, you're not changing price, you're only changing the way price is displayed. If you're going to use the indicator set, there's a good possibility that if you're using, say, the slingshot setup to take this particular trade, it might put you in the trade two ticks before 61 or four ticks. It might put you in slightly after. I'll show you an example. Uh, I had a chart up earlier. Where'd it go? That's it. No, that's not it. Thank you very much, and I'll speak with you in the morning. Okay, let me just show you, show you this real quick. Um, let me just throw up the full thing. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll leave it like this for a minute. Let me go to the Russell, and I'll show you the other way. RLM. My car says you use the ES. I'm sorry? Mike R says you used the ES. What do you mean I used the ES? I don't know. <laughs> I, I was just, I was in a, I'm just reading what he said. <laughs> oh, I was in a mentoring session with someone this afternoon. Oh, that's what, Kirk. oh yeah, and, and oh you might be referring to what I did today on the radio show. I got you. Okay, thanks. Uh Okay, so on the Russell, okay, the hour that we triggered, that 1161, that was in the 9 a.m. hour this morning, okay? So let's go here. Let's make sure we're on today. Let's back up to 9 a.m., the 9 a.m. hour, okay? Okay. Now, the number was 1161, so we're going to bump that to 1161.1. Okay. Now, when this CFMA1 is blue and climbing, and I don't want to get into a whole teaching thing here, all right? As soon as this thing turns blue and starts climbing, I'm already I'm, – I'm itching to be long back here because I know price is going to be drawn like a magnet up to this thing. Okay, If I can actually get my points and, and get out of Dodge before we even hit this thing, who I'm a happy camper. And so once this thing's blue and climbing, all right, let's say I get an up close there. Boy, if I can get long on this guy right here. The open of this is 59.60, so I need to go to 60.60, and I'm done for the day. Right there. So, which candle did I save that one? From the open of that candle, 59.60. To 11.60.60, that's 10 ticks. That's one point. It's $100 per contract per day. Now, here's – I want to express some concern. Because I have displayed on the radio show a lot of $1,000 days in crude, in gold. Gold's been not too shabby either. Crude, gold, uh, the Russell. Don't try to turn every trade into a $1,000 trade. Okay. Now, if you have graduated to multiple contracts and if you can lock some in, get your stop to break even, all that stuff, right, then okay. And that's a little bit different story. Now, let me throw the in. Now, see what this does? When you hear me say important prices, important areas are almost always tested. Look at what happened. Sucker comes right back. And in this case, you could say it closed below, you know, and then it 
came out again. You know, sometimes it won't close below. Sometimes it'll dip and go. Sometimes it'll happen so quick you can't move that fast. Okay. And so I don't think it, it doesn't come back to test it again because it just up, up and flew away. Now, if I throw the entire uh, indicator set on, now I don't want you to think you have to have the indicator set to place a trade because you don't. Really, all you need is the price. So CFRN, CFRN. Okay. See, bullish cross. Now, you see where I had my candle? Okay. This is what some scream time will get you. Scream time. <laughs> Scream time. This thing's blue and climbing. A little guy right there. Although we never pulled all the way back to the BBC. Uh, that This would have put you long at 59.90. So you'd have need to get to 60.90, which would be right there. And you'd be done for the day. Before you got to the alert. Okay. So think about that. Well, but I but I thought the alert was there for a reason. It is. But if you have the indicators, sometimes, often, you can front run that thing. And doesn't mean you can't stay in it. I mean, if you're in this trade, there's no reason to get out of this trade until you get a close below the CFMA1. Now that that first close below the CFMA1 is 1162.40. So if you got in at Michael, get ready to do math. 59.90 to 62.40. 59.90 to 62.40. Well, let's just call it 60. 6240 is 14, okay. 15 ticks. Right? 20, no, 24 ticks. Uh, 25 ticks. 20, 25 ticks. Okay. So that's $250 per contract. Wow. That's a nice day, nice trade. Just paid for, you know, if you're doing the one, if you're doing, well, you got a minimum of two contracts, you just paid for them both. So um, just don't try to turn every trade into a $1,000 trade. Once you get your goal for the day, you know, now this thing comes right back and, I mean, when it does this bullish cross, price pulls away, back, up, close, you know you got the wind at your back. This has actually turned red. Eh, I might leave that alone. Again, I don't want to get into a teaching. That isn't, this isn't designed to be a, a teaching. Anyone who is a part of the uh, if number one, if you're a partner, you know you have unlimited access to mentoring as you need it. If you're an active partner, uh, if you're concierge client, you have access to as much mentoring as you need. Okay, and those of you that maybe have just signed up for the one trade a day, you're not a concierge client, you're not a partner. Um, I'll still spend a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with you, okay? But, I mean, let's think about the dollars and time involved. I, I don't have a lot of time to give you, but I do give a lot of time and a lot of explanation during the radio show. But, but I, I'll always try to help you because I can't. I have a hard time saying no. All right. Um, okay. Any other questions? Silence means yes. Dwayne and Michael, thanks. I'll be looking forward to the free ZB trades. Okay. Uh, not sure what that means. Oh, I see. You are a nice guy. <laughs> and maybe I will do that for you. The bonds have been awesome. I mean, my goodness. I, I really had no idea. Uh, I mean, today they didn't do a $1,000 day, but they did... They, the 18 ticks that they did, they did it, uh, 
Well, but you know what? If you're trailing your stop, you probably got taken out here or even here. The initial drop was down to 29. So that would be 9 and let's see. From the low is 29 to 32. So that's 12 ticks. That's 12 times 3125. So if you know if you got taken out right in here, it's still a great trade. It's a great day. Okay. One more time, cut and paste any questions. Now, everybody has been told how to make payment. Okay. It's from the one trade a day page. Everybody has been told where to find the NDA cancellation policy. You need to sign it. You need it notarized. You need to send it back to us. Okay. If you decide to have a broker trade this for you, and because of a message I received, I think a door that was once closed is about to swing open again tomorrow. I don't know. Not going to count on it. But if anything changes, it will just be for the better. Okay? Play with that app and see if you don't like the idea of taking the trade into your own hands. If you really just feel better, you can contact any broker practically and say, hey, will you trade these signals for me? And they'll say, yeah. I mean, but again, we have to have them sign an NDA as well. It's no big deal. They print it out, sign it, shoot it back to us. We file it away. And we're good to go. Okay. Michael, any questions for you? From you? Um, not from me, but Vic asked a couple of questions and he texted me just to make sure I got them. Vic. Um, Vic said, the seven dollars per market per month to market minimum. Is that the total cost and is there a limit to the number of people that can join? Um, you know, Vic, there's right now we had initially pegged it at 200. Um, what we could do if we reached a maximum, like we saturated the market sort of um, for the markets that we trade, we could do a second one during the day where we say, you know, you have your choice of trading at 10.30 a.m. or, you know, 1 a.m. Or not 1 a.m., 1 p.m., 1 p.m., you know, so that the market, so we could do another one as we grow. Because I, I do see that becoming an issue in the future, but not right at the moment. Okay, um, and there's another one. You're going to need a week or two. Okay, that's fine. And I just got another text message. I don't know if that was you. My car said, DNDA, did you want it to go to the email holder? Uh, where do we give you the two markets? Just email to support at CFRN.net your choice of the two markets. Okay. Actually, Michael, I set up a special uh, filter so that they would I could separate them out. Oh, okay, good. I, I put it, guys. Let me let me put it in. I'm going to put it in one more time. O T A D at CFRN.net. O T A D. One trade a day, OTAD, at CFRN.net. Oh, somebody typed in, so OTAD, at CFRN.net. Okay, got it in. Uh, if you're 300 contracts trying to buy, sell, and the TF at the same price, I think it will move the market a few ticks. What do you think? Well, guess what? It's pushing it in the direction of your trade. And if you're buying on a stop or selling on a stop, that's good for you. You, you want – tell your friends, tell your neighbor. You want – you want, you want, those, you want those big numbers in there, John. Yeah, because that's going to just want those big boom, that's going to push you to your target so fast. If you're trading on a stop, 
you're going to get filled at that price. Are you not, yeah, Michael? Great. Give us, give us a couple days. Okay, a couple days notice if you want to change your markets around. Uh, Vic, it's that's the way it works out. But you know, we did it in increments, so we can't do odd numbers of markets. Okay, and that's that's right now. That may change in the future. Okay, we depending on what the other text message that we just got, and Dwayne's going to have to get into a meeting here soon with uh, with Ken I think uh, uh, John if if there's 300 if, if there's 300 orders to okay let me bring up let me bring up this Russell trade again uh, okay we've all got this alert to set to be long the Russell at 1161 so you've got in an order to sell I'm sorry to buy 1161 on a stop the only way that is going to get filled is if sellers drop their price. Correct me if I'm wrong, Michael. Sellers have to come down. The, the way well, if you get filled, then yeah, it, it's got to go in your favor. When when sellers trying to who want to be short for whatever reason or initiate short positions for whatever reason, they need to sell with their inventory or initiate a short position when they see 300 contracts sitting there wanting to go long at 61 if they're sitting up at if they're on the offer at 62 they're going to drop that thing in a heartbeat now is it possible that some of us will get filled and some of us won't well no not unless we initiate a runaway market in the other direction which you know what let's hope that's our worst problem and cross that bridge when we get to it all right oh, no 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 wait a minute you got me thinking about this the other way uh, if if price if price is trading at 1160 and all of a sudden we all put on our order to sell 61 on a stop then price is going to get up to 61 it's going to fill everybody at 61 and probably keep going and keep going that's what yeah. it usually does because other people are going to see that size and that action and they're going to come piling in at 61 and a quarter and a half and 62 and they're going to chase that thing up until it runs out of speed so okay yeah I think you're making this more complicated than it needs to be John yeah yeah please don't do that <laughs> how do you don't you, know what people are going to do how do you know that the order will okay. be placed well you All don't we're going to do is give a number you put your order on at that number it if you get filled you get filled if you don't you don't yeah we have no control over that we're just saying I would rather have 100,000 people trying to get long at 1161 than to have 10 people trying to get long at 1161. Because I know that if price is behind me at 58, we know that inventory attracts price. Price is going to come up like a rocket through that 61. That's my belief. Or it's going to run the other way and you're not ever going to get filled. That means you're going to get filled on the short side. So, yeah, don't let that concern you too much, really. I think don't. I think you might be overthinking it. No offense, but you're a smart guy, and so you think a lot. I appreciate that. Uh, do we trade both? Uh, what he means is, if you want are you to, going to do a long and a short. Are you going to do a long and a short uh -huh. for each market? Oh yeah, I have I have to because no matter how convinced I was that the Russell was going higher today, I could have been wrong. Okay, I just flat out could have been wrong. Price could have stalled out there and the bottom fell out. If so. You guys would have been able to get short at 
hang on, 11.48 and a half. Right there. So, okay, I think we're done. Okay. Even though I have two markets, should I still trade only one? Depends upon your account size, Greg. Uh, you got two markets because maybe you want to trade the one that looks best or something. Okay. Uh, that that's that's a personal. That's really you know talk to your broker maybe about that. I have access to two markets. I mean, if you have the money in your account. Um, I don't see any – oh, I see what you're saying. Maybe you're saying it from this perspective. I'm trying to do the 2420 blueprint. I get my 10 ticks for the day on one. Do I let the other one go? And that – if that's the light you're asking the question in, then the answer is yes. Okay? I mean, if your goal is to make your $100 per contract per day – and be done like we teach, then absolutely. So that's the proper answer to your question, if that's how you meant it. I was really speaking to those who have graduated kind of beyond the blueprint and are trading, you know, or have at least worked their way up the ladder to trading multiple contracts. Okay. If there are, now, at 10.30 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning, if nothing happens, it's not the end of the world, okay? If you don't get an email between now and then telling you how to access your trades, that means I'm still working on it. I'll be in the live trading room all morning tomorrow. Wednesday, worst case, if I have to hand deliver them to your house, I will. I'll get up early. Um, all right. I think I'm going to figure this out in a in a, and I, and I want to move the concierge trade alerts to the same model as the free trades. I really do. Um, because that holds me to a, to a standard. On those free trades, I like the fact that I have to, boom, I have to have it out at a certain time because people are waiting and rocking. And um, I want to do that here too. So, but I, let me do one thing at a time. So, your concierge trade alerts will come tonight via email, the old school way. All right. Okay. Michael, unless you have something else, I'm out of here. Nope. I think we're good. Um, oh, Vic, those were <laughs> those were filled before we decided we had to go this route because of the whole broker assisted trade thing. Everything that's explained on that one trade a day page about where we hit a snag, somebody tried to say, well, well, we think you're behaving like a CTA. And so we had to use our own language back to them and go, no, read your language. We're not. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, we had those slots filled way before then. This is something entirely different. So, uh, as I said on that page, if you were part of the original 200, and if the old way goes through, you'll still have your first shot at what you were, what we were originally going to do. Okay. But you're in now. So, so don't worry. Yeah. Let's not, wor let's not worry ourselves with things. Uh, let's just be happy. And this is a great thing. And it's taken CFRN to the next level. And so uh, be in prayer, okay, because this, this, this means a lot to all of us, to you individually, corporately, to it enlarges our footprint, not only in the trading community, but in how we're able to make changes and differences in people's lives around the world, okay? And never forget that that is our core mission, to change the world one life at a time, one tick at a time. All right. I'll see you guys all in the trading room tomorrow. If you have questions, email support at cfrn.net. 
Will members still get concierge trades? It depends on if you qualify for them or not. If you there, paid for them. There are many people who are currently, guys, I'm gonna, I said this last Wednesday night. I'm going to say it again. If you were given a bonus of concierge alerts when you became a partner, it was just like, hey, this is our bonus this week. If you were given 30 days, that's got to go, that's going to, ex, that's expired. It hasn't expired for all of you, but if that's what you were given and you know it's expired, you're going to stop getting them, okay? And so if you stop getting them, then you got to contact Michael because Michael's been kind enough to shoulder that duty of working out the arrangements on the payments for the alerts and the other things. So shoot an email and say, hey, what do I got to do? Start getting my alerts again, okay? All right. All right, guys. Well, that's it. With that, we're going to wrap it up. All right. If you came late and missed any part of this meeting, it will be posted. Uh, Somewhere? Tomorrow? <laughs> no, I'm just thinking, do I want to throw it out just publicly on the Google Plus, or do I want to put it on the One Trade a Day page? Um, you know what? There's enough questions coming in. It might be good to just make it public. All right. Fair enough. Sounds good. We are getting emails constantly. Okay. Um, yeah, I know. Tom, let me take a look right quick before, uh, before. Yeah, we got your payment, Tom. It went through. Okay, you're in the list. Oh, it did. Okay, good. Okay. All right. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, take it easy, guys. Catch you in the morning. Thanks for coming.